Hi, I'm Andy Quitmeyer, and I'm the American Arts Incubator Artist for the Philippines. And I'm working here in Dumaguete to launch a series of workshops for building a floating art and technology laboratory. This project we're calling Water Space because water plays a really important role here in the Philippines and really everywhere. So what we're looking at is how we can get art and technology together. So on Monday, we were all just getting to know each other and just starting to think about how do we combine art and technology to help out the environment. On Tuesday, we actually got to go to the environment, go to Benilad and start messing around, playing with stuff, finding out what the important issues are, and start building and thinking about ideas for how to solve it. We started thinking more about the technology side and how are we gonna actually start coming up with ideas that we need to do. We finally figured out what our four teams are gonna be. Everybody started drifting into their own kind of teams about issues that they really cared about. Today was the final exhibition of the workshop. We took all the really cool ideas that bubbled up and turned into these amazing projects and we got to present them back to the rest of the community. We had some fancy folks serving on a panel um, from both the Vanilla community and up with the US Embassy in Manila and they gave really great advice and suggestions to all four of the groups. The United States Embassy is really proud of the entire Arts Incubator program and we're really happy to be here and see some of the things that the teams are doing to produce real sustainable solutions to some of the environmental problems we have. So we chose Vanilla Marine Sanctuary because it's kind of a hidden gem around here. As you can see, this is the only sign that actually lets people know where to go and a lot of people haven't even been there even though they only live like a kilometer away. It has sea turtles, amazing coral reefs, but at the same time it's really underrepresented and most people don't know about this cool stuff. We're putting the roof on the boat lap. So, welcome. We've made this really amazing spot for building art and technology and all kinds of cool stuff together. And I want you to bring you on board the boat lab and show you all the cool stuff that we have going on at the same time. So there's a solar panel up there. It powers what is kind of the heart of the whole boat lab. It can keep this whole place running for 24 hours a day, constantly going. We got folks here, like from the visualization team, plugging in stuff to our Arduino. We got guys like me here doing some awesome boat soldering, getting the lighting system working. And their team even has an onboard water shower curtain that they can project different images that they find from the ocean right there. So we basically have a TV made out of water built into the ship. Our project focuses on displaying information to a new sort of medium that will intrigue and psychologically affect the people in this community. Over here, we have a really fundamental crew. We have the Bantai Basura. No garbage in the sea. And so they help protect the whole place here by keeping all the garbage out of the ocean. And we got submarine commander Lucian here. What are you up to? Hello, so I'm like putting batteries into the submarine so we can bring it into the sea later on. Cool, so they can go out exploring with our little submersible drone. We have people doing some action with the garbage. They take some of these bottles and they can actually recycle it and reuse it into new materials, like shredding it into this fine, super strong plastic rope from ordinary plastic bottles. When the dollar ends up in one landfill, so we thought, you know, why not start something with recycling? Um, so that's, that was the initial idea for the project. 
We have Team Kappa <laughs> practicing some of their performance art um, informing the general public about the horrors of companies going evil and trying to destroy the entire environment. We are looking forward for the people of Manila to learn to care and save our environment. And while it's going on, we even have Team CSUNs that are pumping water out of the sea into different sensors, different vials, so they can actually take readings about stuff like dissolved oxygen, pH, um, turbidity, finding out general ideas about the health of the sea that we have. The project will benefit the marginalized fishermen because they will have shorter time looking or searching for fish. So this is just a wonderful crazy place. There's a million things going on and they can all go on at the same time and it floats. I mean, you can't get better than this. It's, I just can't believe myself and I love it and I'm really glad they could all be here with us and I want you to come join us. So, welcome to the Boat Lab. It's a great ride. <laughs>